This is the workshop. In front of me is the portal. To the left is the chalkboards. The right tells you where you're at. I'm currently at level 64, 1180 points of 4,000 experience points at levels. 4,000. Says I have no spell tokens. You get spell tokens each time you level up from level 1 through level 21. We'll discuss that shortly. The relic dust. I have 2300 relic dust. Use that to change your appearance and your wands and other things within the game. It's fun. On the second side over here is the update board, the leaderboard. Each season, and they start at weird times, the next one starts New Year's Eve. They uh, rank the scores, the top 10 get a new wand or something else like that. The current event today is Christmas. So if you didn't play on Christmas Day, you didn't get in here anywhere. But you want to keep track of your current events, upcoming events, easy money, holidays and beyond, easy money again, and of course double and three points weekends. Wiki.wandsgame.com has all the information on there. If you go to past events, you can look to see what you've got. And the recent past events and where your status is. You click on one of these, you can claim your relic, best reward, and use that to do weird things in the game. All right. One of the weird things you get to do is you get to pick your avatar. All right. So you have a few choices. The general, the raven, the collector. Assassin. Now, with each of these avatars, if you click on it and it says equip, that means you own that avatar's rights, or you're allowed to use it. If you click on one and it says unlock, you have to use your relic dust. That's what the symbol here is. And you have to use your relic dust to cost 5,000 to unlock that avatar. To use an avatar, you simply put it up over here on the stand, and that's you. You are equipped. All right. Now we're going to go to the wand station. You do not need to buy any wands. You're welcome to do so. You can click any wand on here, except two of them cost 5,000 to unlock, and I can't unlock it. Because I don't have 5,000 relic dust. My relic dust is at 2,300. But there's a lot of wands on here. And if you pick one, and hit, well, since I'm already equipped with that one, we'll come over here to the wand's workstation. Work we get around in here by teleporting. We blue circle to the floor. We point our wand at it and click the trigger, and we're there. Now, this is the wand workstation. Down here at the bottom, it shows one, two, and three. I'm currently on wand one. I click on it, and it expands to show what I have. I can change this arrangement by simply picking up a wand piece and putting it down here. Really quite simple. Now, when you start out through level 1 through 9, you only have one wand available. At level 10, you get the second. At level 20, you get the third. At level 21, you will have received enough tokens to unlock all 25 wands. You start out with five. So you get, and it tells me everybody starts out with the same first five. The numerical display back behind the wand here that says zero, 00. Is how many wand tokens you have, and I have none. If you click on a uh, relic up here, it tells you what it is and what it does, and this one says I own it. All right, we've taken our walk around the room. Let's sit, step into the arenas. We just click on this bar here. It comes down, and we're going to start with the practice hall. We don't do much in the practice hall. <coughs> But it does cover the basics. All right, there's your wand. If you're using a different controller than what I have, then you would need to um, select it. The recent button number four for recentering, you press and hold it until it recenters. Button number three is menu, and of course, either one of those, or the, the menu button will back you out of the game and pause it. So I'll pause the game. 
while you're losing or winning, that's the one you use. Button number two is the trigger, and that's your teleport. Press and hold, point it at the, where you want to go, and release to teleport. And number one is to select your spells. As you can see from the display, there are four sides, four corners. The four directions on that, you touch them and it lights it up. And then the blue display on the left side has a white mark on the end, says how much power you have. And the next white mark down is the one that tells you about uh, how much power it's going to take. If you don't see that mark, you don't have enough power for that spell. These syringe type things, which I just activated. It's called a pickup. It increases your um, life force. Now, so, if you simply touch the corner of the spell, where you want to use the spell, it tells you which one is active. Your yellow circle around it. Now I'm on, I've got the poison active, active, and there's the twins. And then I go here, and of course, pick up more life force. Fifteen every one of those to get out of the. Oh, by the way, there are other things to look at here. The bar above his head indicates how. how how live he is. And finally kill one. And there's another pickup. Take steps to get out of here.